Hi boys and girls, I'm going to show you how to find out what assignments you might be missing and how you are able to access them to complete them. So here I am on a test student account on Canvas. I'm on our homepage for our Canvas class. Now there's a couple ways you can access those missing assignments through Canvas. I'm going to show you a few ways, but I would suggest you playing around with it and doing what works best for you. So the first way I'm going to go is by clicking on the grades on the left hand side. So when I click on this, it's going to bring me to a page that lists every single assignment or quiz or discussion that my teacher had me do this term. It's also going to list the due date in which it was originally due. It's going to show you the status. So if it's showing that big red missing label, that means it's missing. Nothing was submitted for that assignment. It's going to show you the score. So if you did turn something in, you should have received a score. That will show there. If it's showing EX, that means it was exempt. Teacher said, you know what, this child was exempt. They didn't really, their grade doesn't really count towards it. Um, maybe you were sick that week or something like that. And if you see that dash, it means you didn't turn anything in. The last column is showing you out of. So this is the total points or score that um, each assignment was out of. And finally, if you see any of these little symbols at the very edge, that is um, perhaps your teacher might have left a little comment for you. You did an assignment and they said, yeah, great job. Um, just make sure to answer question number five. You could see those little uh, marks or comments there. So, wow, I've got a lot of missing assignments. How do I access them to finish them? Because right now, let's see, week three, math, that one's missing. I have no grade. I definitely need to fix that. I need to do it so I, I have all my work done. So I'm going to click on that assignment. Now, it's bringing me to a page that looks nothing like my assignment. This is bringing me to the submission details. So if I did submit something, whether that was a um, me typing out my answer or me submitting a picture or a Google Doc, that would show right here. But I didn't turn anything in, so it's showing no submission. So I could write a comment to my teacher, maybe, um, oh, Mrs. Johnson, I'm sorry I was sick that week or whatever the reason, whatever you want to tell your teacher. But just by leaving a comment doesn't mean that you did your work. It does not mean that you submitted anything. How do you get there then? What you're going to do, because we're looking for week three math, I need to get that assignment done. Here's how I find it. Look up. Right here. Week three math, I'm going to go up, and I'm going to click this link right here. Watch what happens. It brought me to my assignment. So now I can see everything back, way back in week three. I can see all the things my teacher told me, all of the neat information, those links I can explore, some videos to watch, and some games to play. So here everything is for you to retake and get your grade and have that marked off. So you're good. So let's go back to the grades page. I, let's pretend I did that. I would receive a week three math grade there and it would no longer be missing. Um, let's pretend, oh, week five, no, not week five, week, yeah, week five science. I definitely did not do that, and I need to do that one. Again, I'm going to click on the assignment. It's not bringing me to the assignment yet. I have to look up and click on that link there. Week five science. Oh, here it is. I remember this one. Yep, I have to finish this one. This is my Nearpod one. So I'm going to go through click on the things I need to and get that one done. So that is probably the easiest way in my opinion to check to see if you have any missing assignments is by using the grades tool. You can also click on quizzes, assignments, or discussions and those will also bring you to any graded um, assignments that you may have done. However, it's not very easy on the eyes. You kind of have to look through and dig through things it might not be in order. So this, while you can still access your assignments, um, I just feel like it's harder to understand whether or not they're done. So 
For instance, week three math, I knew I didn't do that one because it had that big red missing label. This one's not showing that. But guess what? I still know that I did not do it because it has this little dash right here. I put my mouse over it and it says no submission. That means I did not turn anything in. So I could go and do that and click on these and it will bring you straight to the assignment rather than to the submission details and then click up on that link. I, it's kind of saving me one step. But again, if I do it this way, um, it's a little bit harder to tell and see which ones I still need to do. So again, you can get to your um, unfinished assignments multiple ways. I would suggest probably going with the grades option. Um, you do also have the ability to use your to-do list on the right-hand side. Any announcements with the little speaker that your teacher might have made will show here until you watch or listen or read that assignment or announcement. Um, or any assignments or quizzes that you still need to do. So that's another option for you as well. Again, do what works best for you and what's going to keep you on track. If that means checking discussions, assignments, quizzes, grades, and your to-dos just to make sure you did it all, be my guest. Um, you do not have to do that, but I would suggest if it were me, I would probably use the grades tool, see what I have missing, or see what I need to kind of get better at, click on that, but remember, look up. That's how you're going to get to the actual assignment to complete. So I hope this video was helpful. And remember, boys and girls, just, you know, keep playing around with it because most of the time you're going to be able to figure it out just kind of by clicking through and problem solving it on your own.